Hey guys, this is B, and welcome back to my channel. Today, what we're going to talk about are the fountain pen inks that I've used for 2020. Let's start. So the very first ink that I owned, uh, this is a Lamy um, crystal ink. And the color of this one, uh, it's, a, it's a limited edition color. And this is a Lamy uh, Azurite. And uh, this is already like half uh, for the ink. And just to show you how the ink looks like, I did a like a simple swatch of it. The only thing that you're not gonna be able to see is uh, it has that green thing, um, like a shimmer or something. And uh, this particular ink, I have mostly used that to refill my Pilot Kakuno. This is in an EF size. And uh, what it has is I'll uh, post a photo of the uh, green shimmer that it has mixed with a purple because uh, for an EF nib, it's not really that visible. And uh, the way I use um, this ink, it's exclusively used on my uh, 2020 uh, Jibun uh, Techo. So like, like that. So that's the uh, color. I never change any of the colors for when I use uh, this planner. And uh, for next year, I'm still thinking what would be my primarily ink of choice. But for 2020, or at the beginning of 2019 when I started venturing into fountain pens, this was my first ink uh, purchase. And uh, before I started using this one, I actually um, reserved the containers that I used to have. So I've got uh, two empty uh, cartridges. This is a blank and then the other one is blue. And uh, if, if I don't want to, like, let's say, refill the ink uh, converter uh, for, for the Lamy one, I would typically use that. But nonetheless, uh, I love this color. Uh, this is, this is I think, limited edition, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the first ink purchase, which is Salami. The next uh, item, another purple color. So you might see a theme here in terms of the color choices that I've been buying. The second one is by Pilot. This is a Pilot Iroshizuku, and the color is Murasaki Shikibu. I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly. And one thing you'll fell in love with when it comes to the Iroshizuku line are the bottles. Like at the bottom portion here, or let me switch it the back, it has that um, groove in there so that when you put in your fountain pen to refill, and uh, this is about like one fourth. I can compare it for the with the with the next one. And uh, this uh, ink is mostly used on my uh, journal. Uh, the this one right here. So this is an example of how the ink writes, and. I did a little um, swatch of it as well, which is uh, this one. It doesn't have any uh, particular properties in terms of like the sheen or sparkle or it's just plain purple, like violet. And what I like about this is this is a wet type of ink. And I did notice that um, it was it was wet because uh, I use uh, another this fountain pen right here, uh, which yeah it's also purple. And when I first use it in this one, 
the ones that I've read online in terms of, I think, issues for Twisby for the EF size of nib, uh, where they say it's like scratch or anything, I did not encounter it at all uh, with this particular ink. Uh, later, I'll discuss uh, what's currently inside and how it writes. And uh, for the most part, uh, if people ask me, like, what are, uh, if there's any particular fountain pen ink that I would recommend, we'll hear something in the lines of dry ink, wet ink, and all that stuff. And to be on the safe side for anybody who is interested in using uh, fountain pen inks to fill up their fountain pens instead of using the standard cartridges regardless of the brand. The only ink that I would recommend is the Irushizuku line. They have a lot of range of colors and uh, this particular ink, I don't think you will finish it in one year. And because I did use this mostly in conjunction with the uh, Lamy um, Azurite earlier, so I only think one one fourth of uh, of the ink. So that's the uh, purple one. There's another type of purple, but uh, I prefer this one because it's darker. And uh, if if I actually look at like this is like the the color itself, like it has its close uh, resemblance in turn when you when you do um, type of swatching. So that's the second one. And yes, I still keep them in their boxes until they're, once they're finished. The next one uh, that I purchased, uh, no, it's not a purple, but this is a shade of uh, gray. And again, coming from Pilot, same, um, Shizuku line. And the color is Fuyu Syogun. I don't know if I said that correctly. And as usual, uh, it has that same uh, bottle as the other one. And uh, this is, um, uh, I first inked it on my uh, Vanishing Point uh, pen, which is the Stripes one. And uh, I needed, there were only two colors that I was actually interested with uh, when it comes to the inks. So it's actually just two. So you've got the the purple and then the, the gray one. Uh, I, I don't see a lot of people uh, posting um, maybe blog entries or like videos online talking about gray inks. Uh, one resource that I did go to um, when, when I made a choice, I mean, it was very easy to pick gray from the Irushizuku line, but uh, if I wanted to venture out on different brands that also has a nice uh, gray color, uh, one good resource that I can re recommend to you, uh, which I'll link down below, is um, Mountain of Ink. So uh, she uh, has a different types of ink swatches, uh, reviews, it goes in depth in terms of writing in uh, different types of paper. So you've got the Tomoe River, I think uh, Rhodia, and then there's another type of paper just to see what are the differences uh, because it does write differently uh, depending on the paper. But again, it goes to what was the uh, original color. It's, it's just like different um, shade, I suppose. And uh, this one, uh, I mostly uh, used the ink on the same um, same notebook. So that uh, that that one uh, actually looks like uh, this. And this particular ink, uh, same uh, property, uh, I guess, with the uh, purple one, and it doesn't have that. Uh, sparkle or shine or whatever and it's just a simple uh, good old uh, gray ink and uh, the swatch uh, wait the swatch actually looks like this so if I it's not um, exactly the same as the color as what I have earlier uh, with the if I, if I compare it with the purple however 
what I did notice is when you use uh, this ink, it writes a little um, light at first, but then it does darken. And depending on the size of the, fount the nib of your fountain pen, that's where you're going to get the darkness um, portion um, of it. So that's the my first uh, gray um, color. And then on to the uh, last uh, color that I have uh, used for 2020, which is this one. So it says take a dip. Uh, this is Vinta inks. So this is uh, from from my country, the Philippines, and the color is Agan Armada. And this is size 30, uh, 30 mils. The other one earlier, the Lamy one is 50. Uh, this one is 50 mil as well. And uh, this ink uh, and the other, um, the other inks, I mean the Lamy, I purchased it from Sizzipli. Most of them, the three of them are purchased from Sizzipli. This one I've purchased from Pen Gallery. And uh, this is just a simple bottle. It's actually just a, uh, it gives you on the box itself, it gives you like the history. And then uh, it did say that uh, every time you purchase a bottle of ink, they donate something to, um, to a charity. And then this is how the ink, uh, the bottle looks like. And then it has that little um, swatch. And that's this, uh, this ink right here. This is how the swatch uh, looks like. So I would call um, this ink like a color changing. Uh, this was the first ink that I, when I, that I used that because there was one video in YouTube that I saw from Figboot on pens. And uh, you go ahead, I, I'll link that video down below. And um, he did a, a comprehensive a review for this particular ink. And uh, the way he also described it is, what you see right here is the end result of, uh, of the ink once dried. Uh, that's the same ink that I actually put in here. And uh, the way it writes, let me grab one of my notebooks here so I can uh, do some bit of a test. Uh, I still have it ink on uh, this one right here. This is a calligraphy, uh, the Lamy Joy. And I don't know if the camera is going to be able to capture it. But what this ink does compared to the other three that I mentioned is once I start writing, it is like dark with a gray, uh, with a green um, tint to it. This, let me just finish. This is Vinta. Ink. There. So once this one dries, when it dries, it has that uh, green shade coming to it. If, I don't know if the pen will actually, or I mean, if when I try to slosh around, I don't know if it's gonna capture in here, but if I, uh, hold on, let me grab something else. I wasn't prepared to do this uh, well. Let me just go right ahead what I'm talking about. So if I swatch it around, you see that? It has that green something. And then, as soon as uh, this one dries, 
Uh, let me show you a longer writing. When it dries, it looks actually like this. So this was back in like fountain pen they thing. And uh, it is really uh, a nice um, color. And I thought uh, the best uh, way to test this color where I actually showed you a very beautiful um, color as soon as, as you write and while it dries is a Tomoe River paper, which is the same uh, paper, oh sorry, same notebook that I've been, I mean this, this notebook, uh, this one's from Nonble, so I have a few pages left and when I start, when I ink um, any of my fountain pens uh, with it, it gave me that nice color. So it takes a little while to to dry, but uh, yeah. So it dries up something like this. So as you can see, it it's different, like it's it's darker when you initially write it so the best way to actually see its color property i uh fell in love with the ink uh with, with this type of ink because i never understood like the color changing ones the one with shiny thing shiny sheen all those different type of ink properties the only time I started appreciating them is when I used uh, a bigger type of uh, nib. And then uh, when I tried to use it on the same thing, uh, I go back to, to this one. This was the same ink that I used during my recent trip uh, when, I, when I went to Langkawi. And uh, since I've inked this initially using the... Uh, Eroshizuku first when I was using this one uh, this is an EF so it's a Twisby 580 and uh, what I noticed is when I used the pilot one in here it was okay and then when I inked up uh, using the Vinta inks it I find the ink a bit on the dry side meaning if I started writing, so I'll use uh, this one. This is using so if it's not scratchy, but there was de definitely something different when I used the same pen with two different types of inks. And that's when I understood like, okay, now I get what people say about the wet ink, dry ink, and all those stuff. And you will not encounter that obviously when you use a, a calligraphy style. Uh, this is one, this is a 1.1 1 .1, uh, nib size. And uh, towards the end of the year, as I finish my other notebook, uh, it's, it's using this pen because all this while I was using, when I, uh, when I started using this one, obviously uh, this was exclusively for the Jibun Techo. And then I started using this one for my journal and I shifted to using this. And when there was a um, promotion uh, from Pen Gallery's website, that's when I purchased this ink. And this this uh, one right here, um, it is simple, great color, pretty straightforward. And when this one came in, it pretty much took over uh, this one. So till the end of the year and whichever pens that I have inked up, which is this one, uh, this, and yeah, because uh, this one is using, I have three inks, uh, sorry, three pens that are currently inked. So this is Azurite and then the two are using the uh, Armada. So uh, I am happy to explore. I did purchase other inks as well. They're still... Uh, in storage. I haven't opened any of them yet. 
and uh, I love this ink and uh, I only found out about them that was when I attended my the only pen meet uh, which is uh, courtesy of pen gallery back in March they were all asking me like hey where are you from like when I mentioned I'm from the Philippines they started mentioning brands like uh, what I never heard any of them and one of them is this one so I did purchase another two inks I think can't remember but this was the first, the only one that I opened and I think uh, because I like I love the color because it's uh, color changing I'm I'll, I'll still continue using this uh, this one until I finish my journal notebook eventually I will vet, try uh, other uh, colors but most of them will pretty much circulate into two so it's either a purple one or a gray one uh, there may be uh, I'm not closing things with other colors as well but I do prioritize these two I love these two colors obviously besides black like if you want something different apart from black it'll be these two shades so in summary uh, four colors that I've used are in order so I this one from uh, from Lamy and then followed by another type of purple and then you've got the gray one and then lastly the color changing one I did purchase a couple of sailor colors that may resemble something like this which I will open on obviously by 2021 and yeah that's the summary of all of the four inks that I have and uh, let me know in the comment section what are uh, if you're a fountain pen user what are the inks that you have used so far and are you going back to any of your favorites or have you used more than I currently have which is four of them or you only stick to one let me know thank you so much again for watching see you next time